Hello, this is Andy T1424 doing an update on the Davis Vantage Pro 2 Plus weather station. I was just looking on YouTube the other day and I noticed that it has been over two years since I made the last video update on this weather station. Since the last update, many parts of my setup has changed. In mid-2010, which is, you know, two years ago, we reshingled the house because we had to do that everything had to be stripped off the house all the roof vents the weather station all of it had to come down so what we had to do with the weather station since we could not decommission it we had to put it over there on the deck right there where that windsock is then once the roof was finished we put it back up but with a few additions before I put it back up when it was on the deck I just spent my money into the solar radiation and UV sensors and this was put on aftermarket. So I had to buy the mounting shelf and the sensors it, you know, separately and put it up there. And then I also put on the fan aspirated shield, the daytime one. If you might be able to compare it to the other videos, it is on a much taller pole. I think this is a 10 foot long pole. We actually had to cut it about a foot a foot off of it just because it was getting too tall. I guess since I can't really give you a close-up view of this weather station so you guys can see it, we are gonna head out to the farm and and that weather station is mounted in the middle of a pasture at ground level so so we can get right up to it and I can show you inside the rain collector and get up close to the to the whole interface and be able to see the, how the transmitter works. We'll, we'll see you back at the farm. Well here we are at Thompson Farms and as you can see the, the station in front of me and right next to a cornfield and like I said the station was installed in July of 2011 it was to replace another station that wasn't so reliable you will see pictures of that in the slideshow in the end of this video and we were we were to, trying to decide where to put where to put mount the station or, or where to put it so first we start coming up with ideas of maybe maybe we should put it on the house or maybe we should go on the grain bins over there we just didn't know or the shed well right here is you know all around me it north north south and east are all open open area the only problem you run into is in the in the in the west you don't really get much for you don't get much for wind over there because there's a grove and all these trees in the way so so here's the rain collector of the Vantage Pro 2 Plus and if a lot of you've seen Davis stations they have this big giant black thing and this is called the rain collector cone there's a there's a cone shaped um, opening down there and what happens is when rain falls in there it drops down through that screen the screen keeps the breeze out and it falls into a tipping bucket which I will show you right now so we will carefully take this cover off and it just it just screws on or slides onto these notches so there's the inside of the cone and here is a Davis rain gauge it's really called a tipping bucket. It's just a little aluminum tipping bucket that is, you know, finger light. And they tip on every single one, one hundredth of an inch. So it is extremely accurate. It's, it's up beyond uh, National Weather Service and uh, FEMA standards. So it makes it for really, really accurate measurements down to the hundredth of an inch. And the nice thing about it is, is it empties itself so you don't have to go up and empty a little reservoir or something because it falls through these little holes right there, right here, and one right there, if you can 
see that. And right in front of here are the solar radiation and UV sensors. Like I said, these came with the station. This was all factory. So, so that's a rain collector. Now I will show you the ISS or the, the transmitter that transmits the data. So there's the transmitter. And as you can see, it says Davis ISS transmitter. Uh, 6163 is my product number made in the USA with imported and US parts that's what I like about this it's made to last it's made of quality and it's not gonna break very easy it's not gonna wear out very easy you should get 20 years of good performance out of these that's why I like Davis their good customer support is just fabulous so you ask them a question they'll have an answer for you right away it, it, it's just as simple as calling them so there is the battery, the backup battery. Now, I didn't know this, but this this transmitter has a, a super capacitor, and that is what it runs on at night to to send data packets back to the console. But what this battery is for is so that it saves. So when the super capacitor goes dead, that that battery is just there as a backup to to cover for the. To the super capacitor and the super capacitor should rarely go dead if it does then you got a bad cap so that it's not rechargeable and you're supposed no matter what how much you use them you're supposed to replace them every two to three years but it's only been a year now not even a year so I still got quite a bit of life left in this one and there's the, the plug for the for if you wanted to cable this to your console I'm glad I don't that would be just a pain in the butt if we had to cable it to the console and you can see all the plugs a lot of you guys only have the the um all the and you can see all the plugs a lot of you guys only have the the um all the basic sensors that come with the unit but this one like i said it comes with the uv and solar radiation sensors so those extra plugs are being used at this time and that solar panel is the extra solar panel for the for the fan aspirated shield the 24-hour fan now the one at home like I showed you it's got two solar panels on this on the cover now this one has its own separate solar panel and it's a lot bigger so it can it can take in a lot more Sun for charging energy now the way this works is this solar panel during the daytime is taking that energy from the Sun and it is charging two lithium batteries just inside here there's one on this side and there's one on that side I don't know if you can see in there very well but it charges those two lithium batteries and during the day this fan runs at very slow rpms uh, much faster than it does at night than it does at night of course but it it runs at about uh, but it it runs at about uh, 500 rounds per minute or something it's very very slow in fact you can't even really hear it I can't hear it at all today because it's windy out here but when it's completely calm you can hear it just ever so slightly so this solar panel is charging those batteries so then at night when there is no Sun the fan slows down way slower and then it runs on the batteries where well, I think it can run probably a day or two on those batteries, on those rechargeable batteries. Um, but uh, otherwise, that has been totally flawless. All you have to do is just be sure you keep that bottom intake clear of any debris, like flies getting sucked in there or, or other uh, um, items being stuck. And that's pretty much it with the with the shield there and of course you know all the sensors the temperature humidity uh, dew point heat index etc etc all those sensors are located in here inside here in the middle case in the middle so it is uh, shielded from the Sun for better for, for better accuracy in my data and I'll just pan it around. There's my co nice coiled up wire of cable that goes all the way up to the anemometer, way up there. This is this is a, a slightly taller pole. This one's maybe a 15 or a 16 foot pole, and and the anemometer is probably 10 feet up or so because I think those zip ties are spaced. I spaced them at probably um, a foot apart. 
and I will show you the anemometer on these newer Davis stations if they're newer than 2009 you will notice that they got a gold tip or a brass tip on the on the tip of the wind vane that is something new that they added in 2009 or to 2010 and mine was probably one of the first ones that had that um, the, the one I have at home only has the the black colored uh, cap for the for the wind vane and plus the wind vane is slightly it looks slightly different on this one it's got a, it's like I said it's in a it's a, in a pretty nice open space